Yo, we're back. I'm still glowing. But what else is new? Roll the intro. This is what I would say if I had an intro. But that's that's too much work for me. The last video on this, I did a live stream. Episode 10. It was like a little special kind of thing. A little mini podcast with two of my buddies. There's a highlights video that came out today before this one. But yeah, it's there. If you don't want to watch the whole hour long video. Oh, and I did some experimenting with the player launcher. And this thing is dangerous, dog. If you're in the sky too long, you be you be traveling at like light speed for example i went flying right way in the distance over there oh fudge i went twenty nine thousand miles away and i was like testing it out with the the squid ring you know staying in the, oh my gosh and i didn't even do much look um i'm scared to do it again okay 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 all right here we go jump do this and then just fly and then I'm going super fast, but stop, stop. I did that, but I was like, sort of, I did it like off a mountain. And so I went zooming way over there. I'm just not going to mess with that in general. Like it's too dangerous for me. I'm not trying to go like a million meters away, blocks away, whatever. However you want to measure it, putting you away for now. Uh, today we are going, I am going to, you, you are going to watch. I'm going to work on what I couldn't do in episode 10 because <laughs> game game pros uh so yeah i'm gonna work on the essence farms and the garden and cloches mob duplicator is sort of a new one and then a mugma farm as well which is also new i don't know i kind of want to work on the mob duplicator because i have all this essence here right i don't got much to do i could enchant but i don't really i don't really have a set armor armor suit to have at the moment Hello there. But yeah, I'm gonna work on the mob duplicator because that uses essence. So I already kind of dug out a room below this one right down here. Got the ceiling, got the floor, basalt with like my chisel. And yeah, I just need to make out a room, dedicate sort of a wall for where the, like the room itself is gonna, where the spawning room is gonna be, right? I'm thinking having it towards the north right here, according to my map up there in the corner. A nine, I'll make it a nice little nine by nine, just like the normal mob farm i also might move the mob farm down here as well like probably in between episodes because it's a lot it's just i'm i'm really focused whenever i'm like doing building stuff and and if i build and talk at the same time this is gonna be a big mess more of an awkward mess than it already is yeah i'll just make this room and then catch y'all back once i have the space set out yeah yeah once i have the yeah you'll, i'll see you then all right then i made the wall actually let me get let me get some torches all right so i made the wall or I mean, I made the hole, you know, for where it's going to be. How I'm going to get this loot is with the mob mesher I got as a reward. Wait, what are you? Oh yeah, spirit. I caught one of those. Those little floaty bob thingies when that appears sometimes when you kill something. All right, so boom. Mob mesher. It's not on yet because it needs a lever to turn it on. What I like about this is that I can add upgrades to it, you know, like a, uh, I think this one's the looting one and then luck. No, this one's looting. This one's sharpness. And then there's fire aspect, smite, bane of arthropods, and then beheading. Oh, actually, I should probably move this one back so i can so i can have like a flush little sort of window wall right here in order to move all the mobs here into this this spot right here what i'm going to be using is a company a combination of mob fans right actually let me make let me make a couple more eh two should be fine like once i have the upgrades and whatnot all right so mob fan and and one of these conveyor belts right here uh which one's cheapest red purple huh I'm not even gonna question it. Okay, so I need... Mm, I would do this one, but I don't know how much purple I have. And I can get a bunch of red. So I'll just go with the red. So yeah, I'll use these red conveyors. Boom, boom. Move them to the middle. Actually, I wonder if I could get away with just using one. I have a mob problem here. And then I'll need some upgrades. And these can only hold three of each. I show it. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to use two. How am I gonna do this? One, two three one two three show area show area all right so i'm gonna need one more with upgrade and how many was it height i don't really need height i need distance there we go so how many do i need hopefully just one per ah i see so i'm gonna need a total of six so i just need four more uh, do I got enough feathers? I do not. That is tough. Tough indeed. I'll go get some feathers real quick. I'll be back. Ooh, luckily I have some... Luckily I have some feathers in here. Somehow. Probably some, like, baby zombie jockeys. Nonetheless, we have our feathers. So now we can... 
Make the fudge. Bro, this junk is dangerous once it's on and then it has like upgrades in it. Bro, that'd be that'd be killing you. <laughs> Put you in there. Alright, and boom. Now those also need a redstone signal. Let me make these upgrades first. Oh fudge, I'm gonna need a bunch of a uh, bunch of stores for the sharpness. But <clears throat> sharpness can wait. I just got the looting, which is what I really need or want. So yeah, so you may be wondering, or you're not wondering, but I'm gonna make y'all wonder. How I'm gonna provide the redstone signal. So remember how I found this this uh, this spectre coil, right? Just always generating 128 per tick, uh, and it's from the random things mod. And so I went on YouTube, uh, you know, a bit of research, a bit of researching. Also searched in in here, you know, see what else there was. Uh, and this dude, Mischief of Mice, great videos, great tutorials great check him out he does dnd &D. i don't know if y'all are into that but it's pretty cool but there's you can do like wireless redstoning from this mod okay so this is a redstone tool uh that's used i know that's used for like allocating it position filters those are also used i don't have it fudge all right and then these redstone interfaces right here so let's see if we can't make any anything here all right so i'm gonna need one of these all right easy boom to make this boom to make this Easy claps. Okay, so that's the redstone interface. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not putting it in the video. Why did I say? Ah, fudge. All right, so this, I'll just place it here for now. And when I right click it, right? No? Yes? Okay. It'll give me, what is this, nine slots uh, to have these position filters in to activate with redstone, right? So, I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to activate the block underneath each one of these, right? This one right here. Uh, with position filters. All right, so yeah, block, block, block. That'll make me. I'll, I'll need three position filters for that. But for the filters, I need purple dye. All right, so I need m more red dye. There's still. I. Oh my gosh. All right, one sec. I'm going to. <sighs> well, first I gotta fix this glitch. All right, that should fix it. Okay, fix the shop. First, I'm going to buy. How many of these for these four gas tiers because i'm not really trying to fight gas turn them into these and come up here and get all y'all out of here because i'm so tired of having those zombies just pile up there making all that noise i don't want to move another turret there easy claps so now hopefully you're just where'd you go yeah you're right here just aimlessly wandering around as you should be and then i yell yeah just get you out of here i'll see i'll just make it all i don't care okay position filters give me three of them for now all right so i need one right here right okay yeah i'll need another one right here and then another one right here okay everything's correct uh let me get a lever and then i should just be able to do this okay now everything's on boom easy wireless redstoning all thanks to mischief of mice great guy awesome i don't really i don't know him personally but seems like a great dude so yeah now what i'm gonna do for like the sort of flush of the wall is have uh some of that dark glass that i have from my mob farm the ethereal dark ethereal glass i think dark ineffable that's what it was called they're kind of easy to make i just need all right, so I decided I'll just have it. Uh, I'll just have a small interest for now. Yeah, there's really no need to rush at the moment. I just need it to be functional. All right, cool. Okay, so let me hide this and hide this. And now to get the actual mob duplicator, which I have bookmarked right here. All right, so I should be able. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck. Fudge. Oh, that's that's a quest at least. Oh, I'm running out of redstone. Go ahead and place it down. And then hit it with my fortune pickaxe, which is just one of the tinkers tools, but like with red with lapis. There we go. Not low on redstone anymore. So now I should be able to make this now. To make you mob duplicator. All right, where's the center? One, two, three, four. Did I do this right? No, I did. I did. It's fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm capping. I'm capping. All right. So. Right there. Uh, let me show this area. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, do I have any extra add-ons? I do not. What's the cheapest one that's like sort of good? Yeah, I have a bunch of quartz. I'll just... Oh, wait, no, that's too much. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Right, I'll just make it iron. All right, boom. That's a nice area right there. 
uh, these fans will be on, and that will be on. So now I just need to pipe in the essence. Oh, and power, fuck. So I know I talked about the whole flux network, uh, network thing for, um, for the power transfer, but for now I've just been using... Uh, where is it? Come on, I thought I had multiple. But yeah, but for now I've been using these, these wireless... I, I swear I had some. Okay, I guess I didn't have any extra, but these, I've been using these wireless, uh, RF transmitters. Which I've been, you know... Nothing has been too power intensive at the moment, so I haven't really had any issues yet. So uh, that should be storing. Yes, that's good. That's good. But yeah, so for now I've been getting by with these. Uh, I will eventually, because I do. I could get into it now, but I, I don't know. It's just I have a, I have a small solution at the moment, and it's working fine. Might as well work on other stuff, you know. But that's enough of me. That's enough of me rambling. Yeah, look at this guy. This guy has been at work non-stop, bro. Look at all this cheese he's transferred. Boom. Oh my god, bro. He is definitely getting a raise. If I paid him at all. I just lost track of what I was talking about. Essence. Uh, I'm going to transfer it using the wireless fluid transfer node. Boom. Uh, Only issue is I need sponges. Oh, I can buy it? Oh, I can just buy him. Easy. Uh, and then I need... I need a bit of quartz. Drop it down here. Hit him with that. Change into prison rain. That's also how I got it for my... My clout weekend. <laughs> Put y'all in here. And then you give me this. Also need some GPS markers. I only need one at the moment. Uh, have the GPS on this, right? Come back up. Alright, I'll just do this. Move you here. I just turn on my mob farm. Get some... What is that noise? Oh, I know exactly what it is. I- No, that's a troll. I thought- Okay, you know what? I don't want to die. Uh, I'm generating new essence. Put the GPS marker in there. Transfer that all the way up. Cause, just cause this should be filling up. Which it is. That is good. Uh, Mousy's mobs. Alright, I'll search up what to do with that later. Okay, so now... Actually, it doesn't really matter if it's light or not, right? Uh, let's find out. Get... I'll use Enderman for now, for example, because, you know, Ender Pearls... Extra Ender Pearls wouldn't hurt. Alright, it's spawning. Alright, so it took a while, because I forgot I didn't have sharpness. But, it got there. Lighting doesn't matter, so I'll just leave the torches in here for now. Okay, so now, Essence Farms. And Garden Cloches. I'm gonna work on that. I need a bunch of these, as I saw, as I found out last episode on stream. And then I also need nickel, uh, because I need more vacuum tubes. Yeah, so yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll just do that off camera. Or, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just catch y'all when I have, how many is it? Nine? I'll catch y'all back when I have nine garden cloches. Uh, alright, I got my garden cloches. All nine of them set up. Uh, I have them here for now because I didn't really have any, uh, anywhere else to put them. So how these work, right, is you got to put dirt in them, right, in the bottom slot to make sure, you know, it, like, as you do when, when you're, you know, <laughs> gardening. That's the word. I almost lost it there. Uh, so, yeah, when you're gardening, uh, depending on sometimes you need to change this, like, sand if you're gr growing cactus. But I'm not going to be growing cactus. I'm just going to be growing these seeds right here. Uh, so yeah, and then I'll need water. I'll just take this handy dandy sink right here and the water I believe comes in through the back. Oh, yeah, I need also a uh, fluid pipe for now I'll just make do with these transfer nodes. Uh, right. It's from the back. Okay. Yeah, so each one's gonna be filling up with water Okay, so yeah, eventually it'll all fill up with water Now I need power which hopefully my wireless transfer nodes will be able to handle all all nine of these And I just gotta make the seeds which I have everything set up. I, th I believe Probably not the dye seeds, but yeah, I actually, I'm getting cluttered. Let me clean up. All right, I cleaned up a bit. Uh, so yeah, I, I made a master infusion crystal. Uh, you know, I had to use up two of the normal with the other one, the other tier, the other, the other crystal. Uh, so yeah, let's work on getting all this. For the silicon, I'm going to have to pulverize some quartz and then smelt it up. Get you the silicon. So, for anyone wondering how I'm getting the silicon right now, that's that's how. <laughs> Alright, apparently for the dye seeds, you have to have the ink sacs. It can't just be black dye, but nonetheless, 
We have everything we need. Now we just gotta turn in the seeds. And doing so should be very simple. Coal seeds. Sulfur seeds. Copper. And our dye seeds. Um, I don't have the aluminium brass. Uh, just because... Uh, I don't remember why I wanted him. <laughs> like, I guess the block looks cool. But yeah, maybe I'll, I'll just like search for another tier 2 to turn that into. But for now, uh, I have 8 out of the 9 I needed, so boom. And then it'll just start working, I believe. Okay, and then, yeah. Do that for each one of these. I did some testing on a creative world, and if I try getting them all tier 10, like, like these ones right here, you know, 10, 10, 10, all the way, uh, it doesn't seem to really affect it all too much, so I'm not really going to waste my time. And these are just going to be passively, you know, always be working. But yeah, and I can, I got coal, uh, I got both types of sulfur, like from, I only made it for like the in-between land sulfur. Uh, I got copper, grains of infinity for ender IO stuff, aluminium, rubber essence, which I can turn into rubber, <laughs> silicon for whenever when i eventually get into the applied energistics and then the dye seeds for making dye so yeah uh got both of those done and i think that'd be it uh off camera i'll set up i'll move i'll move the mob farm loot down here and then maybe also move the mob farm to have these walls sort of you know uh fill with storage drawers that'll be the end of this episode uh thank y'all for watching and uh, and i'll see y'all next time <laughs>